This is the new Nook 1.3 operating system and it's pretty cool. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that there's now a lot more buttons down the bottom here. Um, games, Wi-Fi, and the web. Oh sure, everything else appears to be roughly exactly the same, but uh, as you'll note the it may be my imagination, but things uh, feel as I go back and forth here, it feels a lot more responsive than it was. But let's, um, like I said, the library, daily, shop, and reading now, that appears to be unchanged to my untrained eye. But games is obviously very new. And there is Sudoku, of which I made an attempt at playing but I have not quite grasped the concept of it so I won't embarrass myself with showing you how to play that one um, but it is pretty easy to play and there's also chess so that's pretty cool um, so those are the two games that are available um, audio appears unchanged. When you go to Wi-Fi it um, shows you what network you're connected to um, and gives you the option to switch airplane mode on or off and um, what network hotspot you're on and whether Wi-Fi is on or off. So that's good that that's uh, no longer in the settings um, but you can also access Wi-Fi in the settings does um, the same thing. So they made that a s uh, separate button. Um, the web is the the next thing and it's pretty cool. Um, you get this little tiny window down here and uh, in the tiny window you get um, what it does is it this little black this little box right here um, shows you what's down here in the tiny window so I'll move up you can see that it updates up and I'll move down and it updates down and here on the bottom you can go to the toolbar and I can go to and let's go to a uh, web page um, I'll just clear that www.cnn.com Submit It's a little spinny thing loading So here we have a black and white version of CNN.com and uh, it's got um, you can make bookmarks, go back and forth, zoom in Far back we can get. So there we have the front page of CNN.com on April 23rd. That's pretty cool. And down the bottom here, as you can see, there's a color version of what you see up the top. And like I said, the little border right around here shows you where the bottom bit is located so obviously uh, fairly functional I was I was uh, I could definitely see myself checking my Facebook and email on this uh, without any hassles uh, typing is obviously slow due to the little touch thing but uh, definitely 
uh, easy to check your email. Uh, one thing I noted right away is if you turn Wi-Fi off, so Wi-Fi is now off, the 3G um, does not allow you to browse the web. So here you can see at the top it is connected with the 3G up there. It's fully connected. I've got three bars going but it won't allow me to see any websites. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Obviously uh, a free internet uh, tablet would be a bit too much to ask but uh, I was kind of hoping for like a little Facebook application or some something that would allow me to take advantage of this the 3G built in um, with more than just buying books but um, that's not the case that's no big deal uh, let's see shopping we'll browse buy ebooks We'll check out if the cover flow thing is any better. Mm, I don't see any difference. It does seem to slowly... The animation seems to have changed ever, ever so slightly. But... Uh, Not too much different. But uh, there you have it. The uh, Nook with 1.3 installed. Let's see if it'll tell me what operating system. Yep, software version 1.3. Very cool. I can't wait to uh, see what other games they can come up with and uh, let's see if I go to what I'm reading now. Let me see if uh, turning pages is any different. Hmm. Doesn't seem to work the same way. Turning pages does seem to be a bit snappier. That's cool, I could like that. But I th thought hmm. used to be able to gesture with page turns but I don't seem to be able to do that anymore that's a bit of a bummer maybe I'm doing it wrong don't have that enabled or something but anyway that's that's my little tour and uh, quite happy good that it came out on my birthday yay